Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Louise and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Louise's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give her while we are working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go to the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Louise has been fitted with her own personal training collar, and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Louise is seated nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. And the first command will demonstrate his healing, which is proper walking on a leash. And Fred and Louise take off doing that now. The command you want to use for this is Louise heal, and you start walking and she'll fall right in line on your left hand side. And we've also gone ahead and incorporated our sit command into this, as you see right there. Anytime Fred stops his feet, Louise will sit. Now it's important when you're healing Louise that she walks nicely at your pace without trying to pull ahead of you or lag behind. If she did attempt to pull ahead or lag behind, say no, give a tug and let go correction to her training collar, repeat the command to heal, and then start walking again. Now the next command they're going to be demonstrating is our stay command, which is a hand and voice command and Fred will use the open flat of his left palm an inch or so from Louise's muzzle in the one word command to stay. stay. He then walks out to the end of the training leash. Now this is a great exercise to build up self-control in Louise. You can start practicing this one at about 30 seconds to a minute and work your way up in increments until you get to about three minutes. Now as Fred returns back to Louise, he'll walk all the way around her providing an added distraction as he goes behind her and right back to that left hand side heel position. She holds that sit stay throughout and he gives her a little praise and then heals her right out of it. And he'll show you a little more of the heel sit and stay. There's that automatic sit there. Comes back up, stops his feet, she sits. I'll show you the stay again. And back out to the end of the training leash. Now this time he'll give Louise a second to hold this and then he'll demonstrate our come or recall command instead of returning back to Louise. Louise Calls her in using her name. She gets right up, comes into Fred, and sits in front. And then we have a move called the finish. Fred's going to heal her right around the back of him and gets her right back to that proper left hand side heel position and she sits. He'll demonstrate it one more time. She's in a sit. He gives her the stay out to the end of the training leash. Give her a minute to hold it. And then calls her in by her name. She gets right up, comes on into Fred, and sits in front. Then the finish one more time. He heals her right around the back of him. And right back to his left-hand side heel position, and she sits nicely. Good job. He gives her some praise and heals her right out of it. That's a good time to remind you, you want to practice all your commands with Louise about 15 to 20 minutes a day. It helps to keep the commands fresh in her mind, and you can practice them inside or outside your home, and then just start incorporate them, incorporating them into your daily routine with Louise. And next up are going to be our down commands. And the first one is going to be down from a heel position, as soon as they get lined up for it. down from a heel position. She's going to be in the sit. And Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm straight down to the ground and the one word firm command to down. He then gives her a stay and walks back out to the end of the training leash. This is another great exercise to build up self-control in Louise. You can start practicing this one at about three minutes time and work your way up in increments until you get to about five minutes. As Fred returns back to Louise, he'll walk all the way around her, just as he did on the sit stay, and right back to that left hand side heel position. And she holds that down stay throughout, and he heals her right out of it. I'll show you that down again when he comes back around. Now you see Louise is doing very well, but it's always important to follow through with your commands. So if at any point you give her a command and she does not respond, or she breaks one of her stays, the first word out of your mouth is always going to be no, followed by a tug and let go correction to her training collar, and then you're going to repeat the command you'd given her. Now Fred's healing back into position. I'll show you the down again. Hand straight to the ground. One word command to down. 
He then gives her a stay and walks out to the end of that leash. Now this time he'll give her a second to hold this position and then he'll demonstrate that come or recall command right out of the down position this time instead of returning back to her. He calls her in, she gets right up and comes into him, sits in front, and then the finish one more time, he heals her right around the back of him and right back to that left hand side heel position. Nicely done. And we'll give him a second to get lined up for our final obedience command, which is down from a distance. And this will be our down from a distance. You're going to have her in a sit, give her a stay, walk out to the end of your leash. Now this is the only time we use our right hand to give the command, and Fred will drop Louise into a down from the end of the training leash. Perfect. He'll then return back to her one more time. He's going to walk all the way around and right back to that left-hand side heel position. Very nicely done. All right, we've demonstrated for you our basic obedience commands that we've worked on with Louise while she's been here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Louise, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.